What if I told you that mysterious dark matter might not even exist? Scientists have long believed that dark matter is the invisible glue holding galaxies together, but new research suggests we might not need dark matter to explain the universe at all. For decades, dark matter has been the go-to explanation for a lot of the mysterious behaviors we observe in the universe. Scientists noticed the galaxies were spinning much faster than they should be, given the amount of visible matter they contain. According to the laws of physics, these galaxies should be tearing themselves apart, but they're not. To explain this, researchers hypothesize the existence of dark matter, an invisible substance that makes up about 27% of the universe. Unlike ordinary matter, dark matter doesn't emit, absorb, or reflect light making it incredibly difficult to detect directly. Its presence is inferred from its gravitational effects on visible matter, radiation, and the large-scale structure of the universe. Dark matter is thought to form massive halos around galaxies, adding the extra gravitational pull needed to keep them intact. Without dark matter, our models of galaxy formation and evolution would be incomplete. It's like finding footprints in the sand with no visible person around. They're there, but we can't see them. Despite decades of research, no one has directly observed dark matter. Scientists have conducted numerous experiments, from deep underground detectors to particle accelerators like the Large Hadron Collider, all in an effort to catch a glimpse of these elusive particles. But so far, dark matter remains undetected. This leads us to the big question. Do we really need dark matter to explain the universe? Recent studies have started to challenge the very necessity of dark matter. One such study, conducted by Rajendra Gupta, suggests that the universe might not need dark matter at all. Instead, it proposes that the accelerated expansion of the universe, traditionally attributed to dark energy, could actually be due to the weakening of fundamental forces over time. Gupta's research indicates that the age of the universe could be 26.7 billion years, nearly twice as old as previously believed. By analyzing the distribution of galaxies and angular size of the sound horizon, this study presents a new cosmological model that eliminates the need for dark matter while still being consistent with key cosmological observations. But that's not the only challenge to dark matter. The BREAD experiment, for example, is on a mission to detect axions, a type of hypothetical dark matter particle. Early results from this tabletop experiment, conducted at the University of Chicago, show promising sensitivity in detecting these particles. The next phase involves enhancing the experiment with a strong magnetic field to increase the chances of observing axions. This innovative approach could revolutionize our understanding of dark matter or even disprove its existence if axions aren't found. Then there's the intriguing case of neutron star collisions. These catastrophic events create conditions extreme enough to potentially produce exotic particles like axions. Researchers believe that the decay of these particles could produce detectable photons, providing another method to search for dark matter. Okay, so what if dark matter doesn't actually exist? The implications for our understanding of the universe would be profound. For starters, we'd have to rethink the way we explain the formation and behavior of galaxies. Remember, dark matter was proposed because galaxies were spinning much faster than they should be, given the amount of visible matter they contain. Without dark matter, we need a new explanation for this phenomenon. One possibility is that the laws of physics as we understand them might need to be revised. For example, the modified Newtonian dynamics MOND theory suggests that we need to tweak Newton's laws of motion to account for these observations without invoking dark matter. Alternatively, the weakening of fundamental forces over time, as suggested by Gupta's study, could be another explanation. If dark matter is indeed unnecessary, this would also impact our search for dark energy, the mysterious force driving the accelerated expansion of the universe. Some researchers propose that the effects attributed to dark energy might instead be due to variations in gravity or other forces over cosmic time. Moreover, this would change the direction of many current research projects and experiments aimed at detecting dark matter particles. Resources could be reallocated to other areas of research, 
such as studying the fundamental forces of nature or exploring alternative theories of gravity. In essence, if we conclusively prove that dark matter doesn't exist, it would be a paradigm shift in cosmology, akin to when we first discovered that the Earth orbits the Sun and not the other way around. It would open up new avenues of inquiry and fundamentally change our understanding of the universe. So, where does the scientific community stand on this debate? The question of whether dark matter is real or not is one of the hottest topics in modern cosmology. On one side, we have the traditionalists who argue that the overwhelming evidence from gravitational effects, galaxy rotation curves, and large-scale structure formation strongly supports the existence of dark matter. They point to the success of dark matter models in explaining a wide range of astronomical observations and simulations. On the other side, we have a growing number of researchers who are challenging this view. They argue that despite decades of searching, we still haven't directly detected dark matter particles. Studies like Gupta's, which propose alternative explanations such as the weakening of fundamental forces over time, are gaining traction. Additionally, experiments like bread and observations of neutron star collisions are pushing the boundaries of our understanding and may soon provide critical insights into the nature of dark matter or lack thereof. There are also proponents of modified Newtonian dynamics, MOND, and other alternative theories of gravity that seek to explain galactic phenomena without invoking dark matter. These theories suggest that our understanding of gravity itself may need to be revised to account for the observed behaviors of galaxies and galaxy clusters. The debate is far from settled, and it's likely that we will need more innovative experiments and observations to reach a definitive conclusion. In science, it's important to remain open-minded and ready to adapt to new evidence. Whether dark matter exists or not, the quest to understand the universe is far from over and each discovery brings us closer to uncovering its deepest secrets. Don't forget to watch the video on the right and subscribe. Thanks for being part of Cosmonology.